Hi, it's Stacey here again. One of the biggest hurdles people have when trying to get past the Twitter limits is actually unfollowing people. Like, who who do you unfollow so that you can follow more people? And it becomes a, a bit of a game of unfollowing, then refollowing, hoping some of those followers will follow you, then unfollowing, and then refollowing. And, and sadly, it just becomes like a little loop until you get past the Twitter limits. This is why, if you can, keep your followers and your people that are following you quite close on the way up it makes this a lot easier but if you're already in the predicament of having a massive gap between how many people follow you and how many people you follow manage flitter is a really great tool to help you overcome some of this now i have the paid version of it so some of the features in here you're going to see aren't available on the free version um, personally if you want to really build your Twitter following I would have a look at getting the paid version it's $12 a month but for the purposes of what we're doing here you do not need the paid version so basically you're just going to sign up but as I already have an account I'm just going to sign in and you just sign in with your Twitter account and then once you get in here then the place you want to go is here in this unfollow section so you can see here that 12,761 people of my 30 odd thousand that um, I follow so if I show you so this is telling me of this 30,000 people that I follow 12,000 people aren't following me back and I'm okay with that um, some people just go in and unfollow them all I don't do it that way I do have a system of unfollowing people um, which I'll share about in another video but basically I'm not going to I don't automatically delete you or unfollow you if you're not following me back now in this section what you want to look at are uh, so if we click on inactive users here so this shows me people that haven't posted in the last 30 days and I can tell you now that if you're following people that haven't posted in the last 30 days then the chances of them following you back are quite slim and so these are obviously people that I've, I have targeted they might be people that are following somebody else but I want an active community on my Twitter and so I'm going to I delete people or unfollow people sorry that haven't posted in 30 days now you can have a little look at them individually by clicking on the overview here but all I do is I click on select all and then over here it tells me um, that there are 329 to follow later now you'll see here that it tells me 1236 people haven't posted but it's hiding 910 of them because I never um, I give people a good couple of weeks to follow me back and so these are people that I've followed in the last few weeks that aren't following me back yet but they may so all I need to do now is click this unfollow 329 later and then you want to have a look at people that don't speak English and so I've got seven people here to that are hiding so I'm going to unfollow those and then I unfollow people that don't have profile images as well so I'm going to select all those accounts and unfollow them so that then gave me some more people to that I could unfollow which is then in turn going to give me more room to follow people back now one of the things you want to be careful of is don't do a big churn every single day so don't follow loads of people unfollow loads of people follow loads of people unfollow loads of people because Twitter will shut your account down or it will suspend it for a little while so you don't want that to happen now all we've done so far is flag the people that we want to unfollow now to actually unfollow them we need to come in here and click on process and then we're going to manually unprocess those follows so I down the side here it tells me these I've got these people ready to be followed and so I, I come in here and just follow a certain number of people every day 
and then these are the unfollows so I've got 793 people that I can unfollow now all you need to do to unfollow these people is simply click on the unfollow button and if you keep your mouse just on the unfollow one if you just keep clicking it, they will automatically unfollow them so I just go through and unfollow some people now none of this do I do all at once so I can unfollow I'll be able to unfollow all of those people today now I wouldn't follow too many people if you don't have a big account and I wouldn't be following too many people if you don't have a large account so I can follow because of the number of followers I have I can follow about a thousand people every day but if your your account is smaller you want to be careful how many you're following and even if you can just um, I wouldn't do more than 50 a day now in here it will tell you like I'll oh, stop following people and also inside if you follow people directly in Twitter here it will tell you when you've hit your Twitter limit now don't freak out if it says you can't follow any more people today because you've hit your Twitter limit that's fine it will just reset overnight and you can follow people the next day it doesn't mean that they're about to shut down your account it just means that today you're not allowed to follow any more people so let's have a quick look at this again so come in you want to click manage and unfollow although that's the page it generally opens up to then you want to click the inactive people because you want people that are going to be having a chat you want the people that don't speak English you want people without a profile image and then this is and then I don't unfollow these people if I get really really stuck for people to unfollow what I will do is come in here and you can see there's order so here's the follow order so you can see this guy here is the 28 um, thousands person that I followed so this is I've just recently followed them so I'm not going to unfollow them but if I click on the follow order this brings me back and shows me actually this was this um, can't get stumbling over my words today 363rd person that I followed this is like 1800 almost so I'm going to come in and start unfollowing some of these people if I'm really stuck for people that and I need to unfollow because I don't like to be following more people than I have followers so sometimes I just drop that and and it doesn't matter like this is just a 500 uh, follower difference but I do like to have my following less as my followers so sometimes I need to come in and unfollow some people and how you can unfollow them from in here if you click on overview because I don't want to unfollow all of these so if I said select all accounts it would take all of those people for me to unfollow but I don't want to so I can click on overview and then if I highlight these people here then I can unfollow 100 people so then that then um, got, puts them into that section where I can unfollow them and then you can click on page two and do and do the same thing but I don't it's not an automatic place I go into but if you're trying to sort out your Twitter limits that may also be something that you need to do so this will help you because it's hard like choosing oh who should I unfollow so I can follow some more people this gives you like a few little criteria that you can use to unfollow people it's very good